This video is going to talk about how to change the display settings on your map. Display settings refers to the cosmetics or the appearance of your map layers. For example, it refers to what color your water lines are or the widths or your choice of symbols that represents the points. To set up your display settings, you click on layers and then select a layer that you want to set the colors for. Choose the settings tab. By the way, we're just going to skim the surface of these settings. You can read more about these by clicking the blue question mark button up here. First of all, there's line color. Right now we have the water mains layer selected. So when we change the color, if I change this, you can see that immediately the color of the lines changes on the map. There is a line width setting, which as you can imagine just changes the width of those lines. Uh, the line opacity uh, opacity is the opposite of translucency, so when this is set to 100, which is a good default, that means the lines are drawn solid. If you change that down to something like 20%, then the lines are going to be more transparent. You can barely see them on the map there. And that's a good idea to leave that at 100 unless you have a reason to change it. Uh, line style, you can choose from a few choices here. For example, these dotted line styles. Uh, there's also an arrow line style. Uh, this is typically used in uh, gravity mains, for example, sewer. Uh, it's not real applicable in a pressurized system like the water layer here. Uh, when you do select the arrow line style, it draws the arrow in the direction the lines were drawn. And you can check uh, the help file here for more about how to change those directions. Right now I'll put this back to the solid line. The, these next settings about fill don't really pertain to a water layer, so I'm going to go back and choose a layer that contains areas such as this parcel layer. Uh, on this parcel layer, uh, you'll see that my line color or my line width is pretty wide. I'm going to narrow that down. You can see those parcel lines got thinner. Uh, I'm going to set a fill color of uh, this might get orange, uh, but right now you can see my fill opacity is zero, so the fill is completely transparent. If I increase at that a little bit, you can see that that fill becomes darker. If I set that to 100, which is not recommended, but you get the idea that that's a solid fill versus a very transparent fill. Uh, I actually recommend a zero for our parcels. So now let's talk about symbols. I'm going to switch yet to another layer. Let's go look at our hydrants layer. Uh, for symbols, this is the icon that represents all the points you put on this layer. So if I want to change this, I click on the symbol and I could choose a different symbol for hydrants such as this icon. So you can see that that symbol represents all hydrants now. Uh, there is also these basic shapes up here called vector symbols. Whenever you choose a vector symbol, it then uses the line and fill color specified above to draw those symbols. So this gives you some control on how to draw those. But I'm going to switch back to my uh, fire hydrant symbol. Uh, you do have the ability to import symbols if you create an image file in some other program you can import that. Just make sure and create a really small image. And we also have a little symbol maker that uh, you can use to make some basic shapes and there is some help information on that screen. Let's talk about labels. Labels are the text that can appear next to a feature on the map. So if I want to label my fire hydrants layer, I enable that. I select the field I want to label. So this is a list of all the fields that belong to the hydrant layer. Uh, I know that each of them have a hydrant ID that's meaningful to me. So I select that, say OK. Now you can see already it's labeled all the hydrants with that text from that field. Now when I zoom out, you can see those, those labels really clutter the screen. So to control that, you can specify this minimum zoom level. So I'm going to zoom in here and say I don't want my labels to show up until this zoom level. So I zoom to that level. I say use this level. 
and now when I zoom out the labels disappear so it kind of controls the cluttering if I scroll down a little more I can see this is where I would change the name of the layer and this is also another place to change whether the layer is turned off or on one last thing I want to say about the uh, layer settings is the save display settings button at the bottom anyone can go into your map and change the colors and then when they exit the map and come back the, the colors all these display settings resort back to their defaults if you are a map manager if you have that permission you can see the video on permissions then you'll get this save display settings button anytime you make changes so by clicking here now in the future anytime someone opens this map they're gonna see these new settings so if you're just playing around and changing some colors but don't want to permanently change the map then don't click save display one more thing I want to show you is the classifications If I scroll back up here to the top uh, I'm on my water mains layer now currently I have this aqua color which applies to every feature on this layer but sometimes you want different features to be different colors on the same layer so the only way to do that is to, to use this classify so if I click here I'm going to I want to color code all my water mains based on their size so I select which field that is and now if you can see on the map here it's went in and assigned a color to each water line based on its size I'm going to increase the width of those lines to make that a little easier to see my line color row now says based on size if I click there I can see the color that it is assigned to each line size and you can click here and change those colors if you want and then again if I wanted these settings to become my new default for the map I would click the save display settings link and that's an introduction to display settings